show you guys how to cut a white fish up. Usually use an electric knife, but some guys will say I'm cheating. It's very efficient and very easy to do an electric knife. A lot faster. But I'm gonna do it old school for you guys. Let's go. All right. Use I use a rag because it's a lot easier to hang onto them. Hang onto it. Cut right behind here. And then I'll just run my knife through the back here. You guys can see that. That's about to get here. Poke it across. Follow the backbone. All the way to the tail. Go. That part's there, and then what I'll do is just run my knife all along in here until I cut out the fillet. Feel the bone, just running right against that. You have to lift up a bit just to get around those rib bones. And then just fall that down just like that. Go back. Nice sharp knife helps too. Just like that. There you go. Like that, and I'll just cut it. Across the rail, slit around the fin. Cut my rag here, around the fin here, and just like that. I'll come back to that in a minute. And do the other side. so you guys can see it even better. Plenty of ways to fillet whitefish, I guess. Some guys do a lot differently. This is how I do it. A lot easier for me this way. Some people leave the skin on, some people descale them. Here. So whatever your preference is, go right ahead. I'm not saying this is the right way, wrong way. Do do what you gotta do. Do you, as they say. Too much meat on these guys. Usually, we cut the around the fin to start with, it's a lot easier, which I didn't do. There we go. Alright, now we got our fillets out. Most of the ribs are already gone, a little bit of rib meat here that I'm going to take out. This. I'm trim it around here. I don't need this. So yeah, if you use a rag, it's a lot easier to hang on to a little belly meat here. Cut that out. Throw that out. So there's two ways. I've been taking the pin bones out first before I take the skin out. It's been working okay, but I'll do it this way. I'll take the skin off and then take the pin bones out. You just do that, grab on the tail and just yank on the tail. Let your knife do the work. Just like that. There you go. Now, let's get these bones out. You can hear it and see it right here. The bones run this way, so we're gonna cut close as we can the belly side, and then cut on an angle that way, towards the back, get these pin bones out. 
So I'm gonna start back here. Again, rags works good. I'm just gonna cut as close as I can to those bones all the way through. I deep fry a lot of my fish, so I don't mind having not like a, some people like to have a full length of fish. I cut mine in chunks, so to me it doesn't matter. If you like a full length of fish, and I would probably take the pin bones out before you take the skin off, that way you have kind of an intact fillet, if you know what I mean. So now that we did that, we'll just come back same spot and then just cut on an angle towards the back to get these bones out. There we go. First that there. Keep going. Just like that. There's a boneless or bone coming right there. And then this is a boneless right here. Just like that. The other thing too, there's a mud line in the back of these fish. Trim those out, make this fillet nice and white, and it'll be a tasty, tasty fish. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this. I'll be the other side and then we'll get it packed up. So there's a flay there. Again, if you don't like blood, don't look now. And I'll do the other side. You check your stomach first. Eating. Nice gobies. There's a big goby for you. That's what they're munching on. I'll cover that up for you guys. Flip them over. Here we go, side. Straight down here. okay with blood or not okay with blood or it should be past the uh, bloody part now so what i'll do i'll grab this one first show you guys so yeah so there's a bit of blood we'll take that out but what i do is i take the ribs out first and then i'll take the y bone out and then i will fully or i uh, take the skin off so all you got to do is just cut against the ribs here and push up make a nice little slip here and I'll run my knife upwards. Get all those ribs out. Try not to waste any meat at all. There you go, these are all ribs. That goes in that garbage. Alright, the wide bone. This is what people are afraid of. Two filet white fish. There is a bone here. You can hear it. Like that. And they run towards the back. So what you want to do is cut as close as you can to the bones, belly side. So nice cut like that, straight down. And then the bones run this way and then you'll run the knife on an angle towards the back and remove that section of the pin bones. And then you got a boneless fillet. So here we go. So it goes about far back, almost to the uh, uh, the back of the fin here, almost to the anus. And then we'll cut straight and then go from there. I made my first cut, as you can see, right down there, nice and straight. And then I'll run my knife on an angle this way, and then get rid of the other side. And then what you want to do, I just stick my knife in here, cut a little slit out, and then 
this should we'll peel right back this way. Just like that. Try not to waste any meat at all. There you go. So these are all bones, guys, in here. Some guys like to eat it with bones and then just pick around it. I hate that. I don't do that. So um, as you guys see there. So it looks like a waste. It's not. These are all bones. You don't need that. I can't eat this, so I make sure totally boneless. So what you'll get is this here, just like that, boneless. And then if you want to leave the skin on, that's up to you. I take it off, but here's where you'll leave the skin on. You're good to go. Uh, for me, I'll take them off. I'll take it off now and then trim this fatty part here. piece of skin on here because sometimes I gift these white fish to people who don't really um, have a chance to get out there. Um, usually I send some to my parents because they're up north and they love white fish so in order to transport it you gotta have skin on it so I always leave a piece of skin on that. And then you'll trim your fins, the body part. skin on the back here. That. So this is enough to identify what kind of fish it is. And there you go. Here's your boneless white fish. Again, soak this in salt water and that will come all out.